sveicināt atpakaļ OHL sezonā, kur es vadrīgi znamo komandu. Izmaiņas sastāvos mums nav tikai samainīt dažu vietām, tam bijies ir vien maiņa augstāk. Aizsargu ziņā mums vizuls ir samainīts vietām un virsnīcas ir atpakaļ sastājums, diemžēl Jansons ir traumēts, bet vārtos paliek lazdiņš. the call big face off looming jazz has been rolling along pretty well here this point streak is something he wants to add to we're still in the early stages of this period we got a one nothing game to this point back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone those face offs after icings are important now you've got the puck and they're a little tired into the corner now Aaron pass and they can't connect Slides the puck over. Read that perfectly with the poke check. The Dynamo have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Uses the boards with the bank pass. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Moves the puck behind the net. Dumps it into the O zone. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Into the attacking end. Slammed into the wall. Right up the gut, here they go. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Here he is, shot right in front. How many bodies in the way? Takes a blast. Here's the chance to set up now. Moves inside. Can't connect. There's a big hit against the boards. You want to squeeze by because you know the middle of the ice is the bad place. You go up the wall, sometimes the door gets slammed. Takes the feed. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Can't connect on the pass. Makes the glove stop. Takes the feed from his netminder. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the choppers on that play. Still lots of time left in the period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Looking to set up offensively. Maintains possession. Here he is from the slot. And that one's blocked. Through center along the wing. There's a hit on the play. And he takes a shot. Close save and the play continues. 
From the boards, he takes that pass. Flips it up the net. Turned aside with the glove. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Past the midway mark in this period. 1-0 the score. Voigt's won it off the faceoff. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Takes the pass. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Sends the pass over. Into the offensive end now. And serves up the little knock on the play. Puyax works the puck in his own zone. Takes the feed from the left side. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Gets it to the other point. Blocked in traffic. From behind the net, looks to break out. Moves it quickly over to Voigt. Couldn't complete the pass. The club have the puck in their own zone. Manages to hang on. Sent into the offensive zone. The Dynamo have gained control of the puck along the wall. Smith has it in the defensive end. Moves the puck. Scrum ensues along the boards. The Dynamo have taken possession along the wall. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Let's it fly. Brilliant save, read it perfectly. Voigt stick handling in his own zone. And that's knocked away. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Moves it over to Lipsburgs. And that's picked off. Quick shot. Denies him. He got all of it. Lipsburgs grabs the puck inside his own territory. Stays with it. Here's a short pass to Smith. The Dynamo have the puck against the boards. Takes it to the net. Denies him. Handles the puck at the point, and that's blocked away. 23 seconds now. What a great example of unending pressure. And they can't convert to the play. Here he is on the backhand. He scores! A buzzer beater before the end of the frame. Well, this will be a great piece of video for the coaches to show in the intermission. How they got after the puck, they stayed with it, and score so late in this period. Now that's a goal scorer's goal right there, James. He establishes position low in the slot and zips the backhander past the goalie. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Puck is dropped and play resumes. There's the buzzer. Fans seem to enjoy that first 20 minutes. We'll get to the second period right after both teams get a chance to catch their breath. Stick around. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro bringing you all the action. Period number two is about to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. That pass doesn't go. Takes the feed. Shot on net. Too much traffic in the lane. Smith carries the puck in his own zone. The Dynamo have taken possession in their own end. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Here's a blast. Denies him with a save. Moves it to Smith. the puck into the offensive end now. Back to the blue line. Stops him with the glove. A 
up along the wing. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Pad save. He's on it tonight. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Still plenty of time left in this frame, and it's a 2-0 hockey game. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Battling for it along the boards. We got a penalty coming up as he was hooked on the play. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And let's see what the call is. Even though he's not very happy here, James, I don't really know what his defense is. That's a penalty to me. And the man advantage unit comes out to go to work. Oh, here comes the number one rated power play unit. A chance to get back in the game. Their first opportunity tonight. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Receives the pass. And that's poked away. Here he is in front. Nice save by the goaltender to get a pad on that. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. The club have taken control of the puck. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Pokes it away in his own end. Poulos moves the puck. Nice zone entry from the right side. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Dismissed that chance. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Some good stick work to force that turnover. From the neutral zone now. Poked away in the defensive end. They get it out of the defensive end. Nice pass. And he regains control of the puck. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. We got a whistle offside to call. Another face-off looming here on this power play. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Trying to exit the defensive zone, and they do just that. Oh, I thought they did a pretty good job there, James. That's a time you can get yourself running around in the zone. They didn't get there. come on the attack handles the puck and the power play unit comes up empty on that one well when the puck moves and the feet don't this is what you get you have lots of zone time but no real dangerous chances on that power play through center along the wing with possession along the wall Grabowski's moving the puck through his own zone Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Picks up the puck in his own end. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Sends a pass over. Denied by the goaltender. What do you think hurts more? He's got a headache or his jaw sore? That thing was a bullet. Smith setting up against the wall. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Takes the feed. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Sends it in deep. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Passes on over to Jass. Takes the puck at the point. And that's broken up. A chance! Oh, scores! All over the rebound and tucks it in for the goal. The club have once again made this a hockey game. They're on the hunt now, James. They've cut this lead in half. Now they want to push forward, see if they can equal this up by the end of the period. For the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Intercepted the pass. Carries it across the line. Moves it around along the half wall. 
and reads the play perfectly and picks off the pass. Jostling for the puck, but still maintains possession. Maintains possession. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Gish. And they continue to apply pressure here. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Slides the puck over. And scores! What an effort to get this game back to level. You've got to continue to work even when you trail in the game. They did that, and now they have a brand new game to play. Here in the late going of the frame, we got a tie game. Puck grabbed by Poirier. Good read with the stick to break that up. And now it's over to Gish. Poulos takes it inside his own end. Down the right side and into the zone. Here he is, wrists it on net. Gives them nothing in front. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Lipsburgs takes the puck. Poirier's gaining momentum. From center, they get into the attacking area. And he makes the save. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. The centermen glide into position. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And they can't connect! The Dynamo have gained possession. And now he moves it to Lipsburgs. Blocked in front. Quick pass to Voigt. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. On the attack along the boards. Here's the shot, and he comes up with it. Lipsburgs plays it now. From the blue line, they take control of it. And there's the horn, bringing an end to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. Players are set, officials are set. Third period action is coming up. Third period is now underway in this very tightly contested affair so far. The club have the puck in their own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Keeps hold of the puck. Takes the pass. Along the half wall with the puck. Using the net for cover. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Grabowski swooping in on the attack. The Dynamo have gained possession off the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Off target! Now, tough to generate a rebound even when the puck misses the net by that much. The club have taken to the offensive attack. Takes control of the puck. Denies them in close. Bullis works the puck in his own zone. Sends the pass over. And they'll go the other way with it. Inside the offensive zone. Excellent stick work on the play. Gains the zone from the right side. Huge hit! Whoa, he got rattled hard. Not only that, he dropped his stick. Now he's got to collect himself and go pick up his twig as well. Great use of the stick here at center ice. From the left side, they gain the zone. Move to the middle! Just can't complete that pass. Oh, he's got the right play in mind. He just doesn't execute the final pass. Can't find his man. The Dynamo have the puck on the attack. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Can't catch up to the pass. Picked up along the boards by Demers. With the bank pass. Here he is in close. Denies him again. Nice work in there after the first stop. He's got to find the puck to save the second. 
takes the feed. He's got the puck with all sorts of traffic around him. Receives the pass. Moves the puck along the half wall. Tries to the crease. Misses. Get it on the cage. Make the goalie do something with it. Scrum along the boards. Delayed penalty coming up here. Knocked away. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. There's the whistle, and here's the call. I don't think he left the official much choice there, James. I mean, he's holding on to the guy's sweater. It's a penalty. Man advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. Power play and penalty kill go a long way to determining what your team's going to be like. This is the power play's first chance. We'll see if they can get on the board. Gets it out of his own end. The Dynamo have possession along the boards. Gains the zone on the left wing. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Hangs onto the puck. And a bad pass, and they'll be forced to start all over again outside the offensive end. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. From the right side, they gain the zone. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Great reflexes, another save. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. The Dynamo have it on the attack. Cutting to the front of the net. The club have the puck while undermanned. And the puck clears the zone. The Dynamo have gained control of the puck along the wall. Now he takes it over the line. Takes the feet at the back end. Puts it on net. And a great save! Lipsburgs has it in the defensive end. Puck cleared from the defensive end. You don't even need to look up at that $10 million scoreboard to see that the game is close. You can feel it, James. The pressure is on the players to make the right play in a game that has very little margin. Puyax has it along the boards. Quick feed to Meza. And the power play comes up empty. Both teams back to even strength. Oh, I really like the penalty kill there. They were on the same page almost all over the ice that entire power play. The game stays tied because of their fine work. Here's a shot. Oh, denies it with the save. I think he got the blocker on it. Doesn't look like much, but the defensemen are helped out by this puck being in the corner. And he's going after him here. Here we go. James, I was really good at this. Not the fight part. I mean the first part where someone else comes in and fights for you. <laughs> Absolutely rocked down to the ice there. That was a heavy blow, and that is the end of this bout. And here comes referee Gilles Levesque to clean things up. That wraps up that tilt. These guys will be gone as they get ejected for fighting as you do in this league when you drop the mitts. They'll hit the showers and watch the rest of this one in plain clothes. Another power play opportunity coming up here. Handles the pass at center. Grabs the puck. And that pass can't connect. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. With possession along the wall. Moves the puck behind the net. And that's blocked! He's such a high-effort player. I mean, he's banged up here, James, but he's still trying to finish this shift, though. Jazz has the puck against the half wall. And that's a great defensive heads-up to force the turnover. Manages to hang on. Blocked aside. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Great reach with the poke check. Grabbed along the boards by Mesa. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Krabowski's the victim of a hook penalty coming up. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. 
All your focus and energy now is killing this penalty. Whatever you have to do to get it to overtime. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. Raiders won a big draw on their own end. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. And no luck on that pass attempt. And they won't connect on that one. Poulos carries the puck in his own zone. Here's the clearing attempt. And that's a big clear on that play. Yeah, coaches are always telling us about details. There's one of them. Get the puck out late in a game. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Through pass ahead. Grabs the puck in the slot. Trying to clear the zone. And they get it down. Yeah, good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Pass right in front. And that's broken up. And there's the buzzer bringing regulation time to an end. Still tied up. We've got overtime in moments. OT should tell us who wins and who loses, and they're ready to get it underway. Puck is dropped, and OT has begun. Strong defensive effort, and he makes the save on that play. They move the puck out of harm's way. He's got it behind the cage. Here they come on the attack. Oh, and they can't keep the puck in the zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Glove save. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. From behind the net, looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Grabowski's taking it from his own end. And nothing clicks for the power play here in this sudden death frame. Sometimes you miss a power play and you shrug your shoulders and go back to bench. This feels like a pretty heavy miss. Moves it quickly over to Bullis. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. And that's picked off. Oh, and a good heads up defensive play. From the left side, takes it at center. And that's knocked away. Scoops up the puck now. Here they come on the attack. Moves it around along the half wall. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Grabowski's got it now deep inside his own end. Uses the force on that hit. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. On the attack along the boards. Moves the puck. Turns it aside with the glove. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Mays has won the draw. Takes a shot with the stop. He was telling me this morning he worked on this in practice this week, making sure the puck goes to the corner and doesn't stay in the net. Takes the puck along the boards. Nearing the final minute of OT. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here.
Clock has dropped and we are back underway. From the blue line, turns him away. Straight up the middle, here they come. Strong defensive effort. And someone's going off here as the ref's hand goes high in the air. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. You don't get a lot of power plays in overtime, but here's one. There's an opportunity to win. A long four on three man advantage looms here as we get set to drop the puck. Readers won the face off. Can't connect on the shot. The club have the puck against the boards. Oh, it goes right up the post. Well, the deadlock stays, James. That shot hits the goal post and bounces away. The club have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Behind the net, looking for the transition game. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Oh, what a smart heads-up play. Readers gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Puck has dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Up along the wing. Poked away in the neutral zone. And they send it right back to him. Along the half wall with the puck. Hammers it on net. No room for that one to get through. And there it is. The final horn for overtime and we are still tied. Time for the shootout, and so many people will complain about it, but when it's time to actually let this thing unfold, there is not a single person I know that looks away. Shootout time, let's get it on. Gives them absolutely nothing on that. It's amazing how many points are alive in a season. The goalie has to be good if we're gonna collect some of them. Advantage goalie on that. Now nah, there's no dice. I, I got a good view of it. There's just nowhere to shoot the puck. for the goalies to be solid in the shootout. All right, back half of round number two. We still don't have a goal in this shootout. Let's see if this changes right here. Makes the save. Focused in on the puck, gets himself in the center of it, makes an easy stop. Well, he can really break it open here if he can deliver a snipe at this point in time. Scores! Oh, what a snipe! Didn't have much room. It looked like the goalie was in pretty good shape, but this one's in the back of the net. He needs a goal here to keep his team alive. Makes the stop. This is why they practice it, right, Ray? Yeah, keep it as uncomplicated as possible, and he makes a good save. Jazz has a pretty good record in shootouts. Let's see if he can apply some pressure on his opposition now. He's dialed in on that one. So quick across the net. Doesn't matter if you deke or shoot on him. He's really good at this. Grabowski's made his way to center ice. He needs to score, and that's all she wrote on this one. That's a happy group now. The goaltender solidifies the win. I guess we can call this shootout overtime. This game is still up for grabs as we play on. Absolutely nothing doing on that. Sometimes you make a move, sometimes you choose to shoot, and there's just nothing there. Well, if there was ever a time to score one, this is it. Here we go. Pirmo periodu, es teiktu, nospēlējam mēs vislabāk no viss šīs spēles. Guvām uh, ātri pirmos vārtus un vēl otros, bet uh, bijām uzreiz jau divi no vadībā. Tad uzreiz uh, otrais periods mums bija briesmīgs. Uh, otrais vārtos Lazdiņa baigi nevar vainot, jo tur bija traktorijas maiņa. Vienīgi aizsargs var vainot, ka nebija atpakaļ uh, aizsardzībā. Uh, trešo periodu, nu, mums bija iespēja izražīt es kā vadībā, mums kā vairāk mums nestrādāja, un uh, tad mēs sākām noraidīties, mēs sākām pa daudz noraidīties arī pagarnēmā, mēs noraidījāmies, bulīši mums ir jāuzlabo, jo, nu, viens gūts uh, bulīts pa pieciem metieniem, tas nav labi, šodien mums mazākums strādāja, uh, Un cerams, ka tā arī mēs turpināsim mazākumu spēlēt.
Šeit mēs varam redzēt pašreizējo situāciju kobertējumā pēc piecām spēlēm Dinamo Rīgai. Jā, dažiem pārējiem ir vairāk spēles nekā citiem. Tas pēc tam nostabilizēs, es ticiet man. Tālāk šeit varam redzēt pašreizējo statistiku vairākumā mazākumo. Redzam, mana komanda ir pašreiz sliktākā abās pusēs, kas nav pārāk spoži. Un šeit varam redzēt kopējo statistiku Rīgas namo hokejistiem. Šeit visi spēlētāji nav redzami, tad tikai pāris ir redzami. Tur zemāk vēl ir pārējie, kas varbūt vēl nemaz spēles nav aizvadījuši.